Without further ado, I'm going to introduce Corey in one second. I'm going to share one more poem with you today. And this one has special meaning for me because this is by the late and much missed Phyllis Gottlieb. And I think it's one of the best, funniest things she ever wrote. And it's called Ms. and Mr. Frankenstein. Scarpino and I had this thing going upstairs in a downtown house. He dismantled the skylight first. I mean a thing with an old wrought iron fence he got from a contractor from the armature commission, he said. That's what he said. Built up the t TV antenna, landlord picking up Pittsburgh, yelling, get that thing down. Next week, says Sar Scarpino, don't ask how the welding, letting fly rust jets and paint cure liqueurs in a black stick man. Now, says Scarpino, epoxy masking tape and artifacts, man of the century, made on the premises. Gluing cup handles, dented percolator baskets, pot lids, non-returnable bottles, twisted tin ties, coffee mill wheels, cracked dolls, heads, run down arm alarm clocks, paper clips, shoelaces, nail polish brushes, typewriter keys that made half a leg. And the night I spent hacking them out of the epoxy, gave the thing most of a pair of overalls and a jock strap we still had. Lampshades, window blinds, corn poppers, shish kebab, skewers, knife sharpeners, bent forks, axe handles, beer cans, shaving cream containers, scarpino, wild with welding, gluing, winding, till we got what looked like two thirds of Ozamendi as king of kings, and I begged, Scarpino, don't you think enough? And he, beloved, gave me an abstract kiss, could have got more juice out of a Rodin marble. Darling, we must scrounge and scavenge, he always talked like that. It is art, dearest heart. If it had been January, he could have gone to hell. But what with the night youth and the May moon, I mined the dumps for paint scrapers, andirons, wine corks, tin funnels, paperweights, running shoes, rain gauges, dull hacksaws, sprung springs, bicycle spokes, ten penny nails, gum erasers, toothpaste tubes, broken staplers, spent matches, plugged nickels. He welded wild and mad arm and thigh of his mighty man. And I was getting a little off on the thing myself, maybe the glue, some weird trip. Good God, how we'd get it out of there, where it grew. Smashed headlights, ashtrays, burnt bulbs, pop can rings, empty ballpoint cereal boxes, crochet hooks, pacifiers, cigarette holders, last year's calendars, candle stubs, speedom speedometers, tongue depressors, dipsticks, lipsticks, ticket stubs, ladles without handles, strawberry hullers, china dogs. I'm out of breath and flat on the floor by the time Scarpino says, done. There stands Man Matterhorn by Easter Island out of Las Vegas and a soup song of King Kong. Colossal, breathed Scarpino and fell to his knees. Well, its head was up there in the stars, 25 foot high and every inch a junk man. So being a bit woozy with this bottle of old bubble and not having magic names or electric jolts and didn't have much of a noble brow or prow, still I felt it needed a little ceremony, you understand, up there on the scaffold. Scarpino dancing around singing, there'll be a hot time in the old town tonight. Climbing up dizzy, don't ask, and bashed Godzilla's eyeless head with old bubble and he gave some kind of shiver and his mouth opened. Honest, I wasn't all that scared, just thought he'd say something friendly like, hello there, honey. But he jerked and squeaked, that was the wrought iron innards, and blinked and ticked and whirred and whirled and went, mama, mama, and spark buzzed, clanks, cracked, flashed, foam, twang, squirted, squilled, snapped, tapped, stapled, snipped, crackled, crocheted, sharpened, sawed, slurped, threaded, popped, hauled, honked, scraped, crunched, zinged, scaffold, shaking like, oi, oi, gold scarp down there doing yoga exercises, singing, got it all together, yeah, yeah. That mindless mouth, wow, 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 I want it out. Slid down the shook frame, ch ch chattering and Woo-wee! A kind of cloudy glory gathered from the sky and Thing just raised his arms, twitched forty ways, and cleared his throat and cried out, Cosmos, I come! Zapped out the roof on a pillar of fire, blowing a hole clear down the cellar, knocking the landlord out, taking along Scarp's wig and false teeth, my fillings, and the band-aid from my thumb where I cut it on the damn thing. Neighbors yelling, Lightning by God! We ducked out before the landlord came to. Also slipped the cops, the fire department, and the board of health, sleeping in weedy lots under newspapers about RCMP probes, bomb plot, new comets sighted. Scarpino half off his nut for days, raving, he is our emissary to the universe. He, she, it, shit. I wonder just what kind of garbage they're going to be sending us. Anyway, old Scarp got over it, looking pretty thin without the rug and choppers. And my teeth hurt, so he split. He went up to learn bone carving from the Inuit, and I moved in with a plumber, and that's the story. <laughs> so, raise a glass to dear Phyllis Gottlieb, wherever you are, we miss you terribly.